All right, so if you've clicked this video, it's probably safe to assume you're pretty frustrated right now. You're probably looking for the soul sparks. You're in the open world of the Eon Vault and you're lost, you don't know where to go. Trust me, I was in the same boat. I went to YouTube, I went to Google, I searched and searched for an answer. And the reason, probably, that there really isn't an answer is because the world is procedurally generated. Why they decided to do that? No idea. Because here we are, lost and trying to find this pyramid-like structure with the yellow lights. And if you're like me, you found the wrong one because there are two of them, one with red lights and one with yellow, and I kept finding the one with red. Now I'm gonna show you my map the best I can to show you where I went to the wrong pyramid and then where I found the right pyramid. And as you can see, it was directly parallel across the map. Now that might not be the same for you, but for me, it ended up being here. And Coincidentally, the last place I checked on the map, because whenever you look up the map in Remnant 2, it will show you red parts of it that are unexplored. So my best advice is to just explore, explore, explore. Find this pyramid just by chance is probably the best way to not get frustrated. Go shoot some things, go look around, go unlock all of the map, and hopefully you will come across it. Now you can see, how it looks on the map as far as how it's structured. Maybe just by you looking at my map will kind of help. You can maybe look what's around it, what it, it's built like, what it looks like, and study it, and hopefully you will find something similar on yours. Now, I know that's probably not what you wanna hear. That was not what I wanted to hear when I was looking up all these tutorials. I'm like, where is this thing? Why can't you just tell me? But again, everything's generated. So although our maps may look similar, they might not quite be exactly the same. So as I said, you gotta just look around. You gotta explore the unexplored and uh, hopefully you'll find it sooner than I did. There's gonna be a lot of different dungeons in this area which you want to go to anyways. It's worth it. There's places where you can find rings, you can find other items, of course upgrade uh, your weapons just by collecting things, scraps and stuff like that. So it doesn't hurt to explore anyways and we're just gonna have to hope that, hey, you're gonna come across this pyramid, which you're gonna see right now. That's what everyone's calling it, the pyramid, and with the yellow lights. Now, after this, once you actually get in here, you get the soul spark and then you leave, you're gonna go back to the area that is very lit up by yellow lights and that's where you're going to deliver the item and then progress in the game and uh, go talk to that uh, one character who wants this thing, right? He's so annoying. Why does he need it so bad? Why can't you just tell me where it's at? But that's where the challenge comes in in the game. This is the most lost I was in the game, just trying to find this stupid thing. And finally I did, and it was, it was worth it, but uh, it can be very frustrating. So I hope this video helps in any kind of way I won't be surprised if it doesn't because again, it's just one of those things where you kind of have to get lucky and find it. But the best thing to do, like I said, is just explore and see if you can find it. Study the map, look at what my map is showing, and maybe you can kind of correlate the two. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is probably the most frustrating thing in the game, I would say. I understand the developers, they were trying to go for this way of giving us replayability, right? You know, having procedurally generated areas, so they're different every time, every playthrough is different, the boss order could be different, all that, and that's cool. But when it comes to situations like this, where we're trying to find something specific and it's in an open world type of area, that could be rough to do because as a community, you know, when it comes to Souls-like games and just challenging games in general, the community is what is there to help each other out. And when it's something like this where we can't exactly help, me as a content creator, I'm like, damn it, I want to help you guys. So I hope this video at the least <laughs> gave you some reassurance and a different way to look at things in you know when it comes to exploring and all of that it will kind of open your eyes to like okay just play the game hope you find it 
and uh, you know continue from there. <laughs> so I hope it helps. Let me know if it did. Tell me in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I have more Remnant 2 content on the channel, so sub if you're new, hit the like button. Thank you guys again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.